Hello YouTubies, this is King Scrub and thank you for watching this amazing, most bodacious and incredible YouTube video. Now the feminist movement has been popping up on the internet over the recent years and it's been getting wild and people have been getting fruity about it. We've got the crazy-eyed feminist who are just going bonkers at the moment. And we've even got some people on Facebook who are young males supporting it. And I find that kind of interesting because it's likely that those young males have had the influence of feminism in their education system. So the feminists have come in their education system and they start explaining. People like, uh, I don't know, Lord Bates has probably visited some universities out there giving their lectures. Uh, I can just guess what's going on. Now, what these people don't understand is that you know, there's no real battle of the sexes going on, okay? In normal situations, in normal life, with normal people, you know, people don't go about trying to belittle women or belittle men. This doesn't really happen. It's only the few who are actually doing it. But the media and education etc will let you know that every single man is a fucking hustle you know if a man does something wrong for instance this is this is how great men have it right if a man does something wrong let's say he kills someone he goes to prison and everybody on the internet will be saying burn the bastard burn set fire on him no matter what type of mental issues he has They'll, they'll be going fucking crazy about it and in some ways and in some circumstances I would actually gladly set the matches off on that person uh, but with the women doing exactly the same crime well you know the people will be saying oh poor woman oh she must be depressed or women have it hard and the feminist will be coming down and, you know, playing the violins for exactly the same crime, for exactly the same thing that's happened, murder, uh, even if she's killed a baby, all right? The emotional side is for the women, or she must be feeling regret and remorse, and the man isn't, of course, you know, the man is a fucking bastard, according to these feminists. Uh, but the man will serve much longer, and the woman will probably get off anyway. Because that's how our legal system works. It's completely fucked up. It's no wonder we have a society of fucked up nitwits who think, you know, society is great. It's no wonder because the women are the backbone of society. They bring up the children, usually. <laughs> or usually, they usually, some of them bring up dysfunctional children, okay? Uh, because they are themselves dysfunctional. Uh, but. When, when in relationships, the man can be screwed over by the legal system much more than a woman, all right? In fact, if there's a divorce, the man is treated worse. If there's a custody battle for the kids, even if the woman is abusive to the kids, the man is screwed over worse. And if the woman tries something like, oh, abuse the kids, all she has to say is that, well, guess what? The man will never see those kids again because he can't prove it either way. You know, he can't prove that he didn't. So the legal system is really poor for men. It's like, you know, some of these losers on uh, the internet. I, I was on some respectable Facebook pages the other day, right? Posted by some of my friends who've been on YouTube. And I won't mention any names because I respect some of these individuals. But then we've got this absolutely moron who's obviously got low social skills. I can tell from the Facebook page that he may have very low social skills. So I won't go into it too much. I won't bang onto it too much because there could be some autism going on there and I don't believe in picking on it. But this complete and utter prat on Facebook was saying, oh, right, so because some men are, are treated badly to are idiots. Well, you know, I checked his profile out on Facebook, and you know, he looked like one of the biggest misfits you can ever imagine. It's obvious that he's never going to get a woman. He's never going to taste the sweet taste of that juiciness that women have. So he goes about on Facebook, 
pretending to be a feminist. Now, let me just explain something to some of the uh, fucktards out there on Facebook and YouTube. Uh, well, when you talk about feminism, when you talk about feminism, what you really are talking about is humanism. You are humanist. You're not really a feminist because you, you want to be fair on both sexes, but you don't have all the information. You know, you don't have the fact that there's a legal issues for the men. Men, if, if they divorce, for instance, they lose half their assets, while women run away with it. You know, women are seen like the weaker sex, which in some ways, in a physical way, and it's not men's problems, or it's not even men's fault, all right? They are weaker physically than men, usually. And I mean usually, because sometimes you can get a woman who's like a butch woman who can beat the crap out of a man. And that's not looked on by uh, society much. And, you know, there's some real stupid people out there online. You know, they don't really understand just how bad things can be for either sex. Uh, I've, I've got no problem with women saying what they have issues with in society. For instance, being catcalled, you know, that's more... That, that's serious compared to uh, young men getting stabbed and shot to death in the street, uh, beaten to death. Uh, that, that's less serious than um, catcalling. I mean, the way feminism goes about it, it it's just trivializing men's problems. They even laugh about it, where men don't do the same to women. I mean, it's like uh, men have to be more mature. Than women, and you get these people come out of universities and schools and whatnot. I mean, let's let's put it this way: you know, calling people idiots. Did you learn that in school? Are you still in school? Did you learn that type of arguments to actually come out with a comeback of that standard and brilliance? Is that what they say? You know, if somebody disagrees with you, call them a fucking idiot. You know, there's there's better ways to actually go about it. About it. But most people don't even use the fucking head anymore. You know, they. They just regurgitate what they've learned in school. They don't really learn from any experience because they haven't got any experience. They think that experience is what they read in the newspapers. All right? They think experience is the stats that the newspapers come up with. You know, one in four women are raped. Do you, know, do you really know where those statistics come from? Put it this way, law Bates and her feminist culture, feminist cult, uh, came up with this woman for women of rape. All right? Now, if you go back, have a look online for women for women on the hands of domestic violence or rape, because that changes the stats somewhat, because by taking out the domestic violence, now you're just left with rape, and you include that as if domestic violence and rape are all the same thing. So you're building up the bigger statistic by taking out all the statistics involved in that statistic in the first place, which is, which is a lie, pure and simple. And that's what they're coming out with. I, I understand that some women are raped, I <laughs> mean, my hat's not on properly, uh, but, you, you know, it's it's not as uh, big a problem as to what they're saying. Of course, if it does happen, men do get charged, and they do get charged seriously. You know, if they go down, they are in trouble. But there's people saying, oh, you know, the men are raping women all the time. Well, possibly, you know, some women are the victims, but it's not most men who are doing it. It's a very, very small majority. The majority, minority of men, the majority would actually be what a feminist would actually say. My biggest problem with feminism is the fact that they twist everything. You know, they they attack men, they demonize men, and they come up with these statistics that make no sense that they've created themselves, and this makes men look like cunts. You know. So basically, uh, and also the stereotypical thing, you know, they, they look at you as if you're going to fulfill a stereotype any second. And it, it gets crazy like that. I mean, these people are fucking crazy. I don't understand why any man or woman who believes in equal rights would want to join a feminist cult in the first place. It, it doesn't promote equal rights. It divides opinion. 
It divides and conquers people. For instance, you know, the, the feminism attacks males mostly. And that, you know, they create problems out of thin air. You know, women have all these problems and they blame men for it. Well, let's just put it this way, right? Left on their own accord, except for the newspapers and media out there, right? Do most men and women get on with each other in real life? Are most men polite to women and show them decent manners? Yes, they are. You know, that's what I say. And the only time I hear that people are being sexist is in the media. And the media brings up all these arguments to divide people, to get the battle of the sexes going. It's like kids whining at each other. You know, males and females having to go at each other all the time. And it's getting a bit stupid online. And of course men have problems. Of course women have problems. But, uh, you know, coming out with the major problems that women have is a page free. Is on page three, you know, women get their boobs out, but that's women themselves doing it. You know, there's, it's their fucking choice. They didn't get somebody put a gun to their head and said, oh, get your tits out for us. Get your tits out for the lads. No, nothing like that happened. They did it by choice. And there's women out there who make that out to be such a big thing. And then as soon as the men say there's a problem in their life, let's say legal problems, you know, how badly they are treated in the legal system, it's all turned into a fucking joke. You know, people don't take it serious. Even some of the fucktard men out there don't take it serious. And it's usually the ones who will never, ever in their life get a woman. All right? So they don't have to worry about that sort of problem in the first place. This is the, this is the sort of mentality we are dealing with nowadays. And, you know, people, if... I mean, I could go on and on in this video, right? I could take the piss out of people, etc., and just you know, really script it properly and have a, have a damn good laugh. But I just want to make people aware that, you know, there's, there's problems on both sides. And you, you have a look at what's going on on both sides. And it's not just this side versus this side. Because this is where the feminist cult comes, comes from. You know, they say it's men versus women. So there's a problem on both sides. No, there's a problem. Women and men both, both have problems in society. And it would be good if society tries to fix these problems. But because feminists moan and whinge all the time about little problems and drown out all the other problems, they actually cause things to go unnoticed, to make things worse for society, not better. So I cannot agree with the feminist culture at all. I think it's uh, twisted. There, there are some very dangerous fanatics in the feminist movements. And there's also some people who obviously are never going to get women somewhere. They join these cults uh, in the hope that one day they'll fulfill their fantasy. Um, I have raved in this video quite a bit, so I'm not even sure what I've been talking about half the time. But I just wanted to get my point of view out there, whatever it was. Anyway, thank you for watching and goodbye for now. See you later.